this problem a vector field is given by vector f is equal to sin y into i plus x into 1 plus cos y into j. Evaluate the line integral or the circular path given by x square plus y square is equal to a square and z equal to 0. Now we have to write the parametric equations. Parametric equations are x equal to a cos t then y equal to a sin t and z equal to 0 already they have given it and z equal to 0 since the particle is moving only in the x y plane if x equal to a cos t x square is equal to a square cos square t then y square is equal to a square sin square t x square plus y square equal to a square cos square t plus a square sin square t which is equal to a square into cos square t plus sin square t that is equal to a square. We have had this uh, original equation. Therefore, the value of x is a cos t and y equal to a sin t. Now, you should think about the uh, limits of uh, t. Now, t varies from 0 to 2 pi. If t equal to 0, then x equal to a cos of 0, which is equal to a. Then y equal to a sin of 0, which is equal to 0. Now, x square plus y square is equal to a square because x equal to x square equal to a square y equal to 0 y square is also 0 therefore x square plus y square is equal to a square therefore the lower limit of t is 0 and the upper limit of t is 2 pi if t equal to 2 pi x equal to a cos 2 pi cos 2 pi equal to minus 1 for this is equal to minus a then y equal to a sin 2 pi because y equal to a sin t instead of t we have to put 2 pi sin 2 pi is 0 so y equal to 0 now x square plus y square equal to minus a whole square plus 0 which is equal to a square therefore the lower limit of t equal to 0 and the upper limit of t is 2 pi. Now consider the integral. You know that r vector equal to i into x plus j into y k into z. This is the position vector. Now the value of dr is equal to i into dx plus j into dy plus k into d z. In our case, z equal to 0. Therefore, we have to take only these two values, i into dx plus j into dy. f vector is known to you. Vector f. Vector f equal to sin y into i. sin y into i. This is first term and the second term is x into 1 plus cos y. x into 1 plus 
cos y into j. This is f. Now, integral is contour integral. See, f dot dr, which is equal to sin y into i plus x into 1 plus cos y into j dot the value of dr i into dx plus j into dy here z value is 0 so we should not take this uh, term now make the dot product this is equal to i dot i 1 sin y into dx i dot j 0 then j dot i 0 j dot j 1 or x into 1 plus cos y into dy now you have to modify this this is equal to sin y into dx plus x into dy plus x cos y into dy. Now combine these two terms sin y into dx plus x into cos y into dy plus integral x into dy. This is equal to d of x, just combine these two terms, x into sin y, d of x into sin y, plus I don't this term as such, x into dy. Now, you should expand this. See this d of x into sin y equal to keep x as a constant. If sin y is a variable, d of sin y is cos y into dy plus keep the sin y as a constant sin y. If you differentiate x, you can get dx. See here sin y dx, x cos y dy. Therefore, these two terms are presented as a single term d of x sin y plus x into dy. Here also we have to put contour integral. C. Now, this is modified as d of put the value of x. We know that x equal to a cos t, y equal to a sin t. So instead of x, we have to put a cos t sin of what's the value of y? a sin t. plus integral the value of x a cos t then dy dy equal to a cos t into dt here a cos t into dt now come to our limits lower limit of t is 0 upper limit of t is 2 pi here also we have to put 0 to 2 pi. Now, this integral is modified as C here. Integral d, these two cancelled out so that the result of the first integral is a square cos t sin of 
t that is sin square t sin of sin t that is sin square t here the limit varying from 0 to 2 pi plus here a into a a square internal limit varying from 0 to 2 pi then cos square t into dt now come to this integral this integral result is 0 uh, this already we integrated this if you take the integration this integral simple and d go out so remaining terms are written as such and we have to apply the limit if you apply the upper limit a square is a constant cos 2 pi minus 1 but sin 2 pi is 0 so entire is 0 actually we have to keep this like that then apply the lower limit cos 0 1 sin 0 0 so 0 into anything 0 so the total is equal to 0 only this term is left out so that integral f dot dr control is equal to a square into cos square t dt now you have to simplify this this is equal to a square into integral of 1 plus cos 2t whole divided by 2 entire is multiplied by dt here limit varying from 0 to 2 pi here also 0 to 2 pi cos square theta equal to 1 plus cos 2 theta by 2 that formula we have used now this is equal to take this to outside a square by 2 integral limit varying from 0 to 2 pi 1 plus cos 2t into dt this is equal to a square by 2 0 to 2 pi see 1 into dt dt plus keep another one interval 0 to 2 pi cos 2t into dt this is equal to a square by 2 into integral of dt is t now you should apply lower limit 0 upper limit 2 pi plus solve this integral cos 2t equal to sin 2t by 2 here also we have to apply lower limit 0 upper limit see this is equal to a square by 2 upper limit is 2 pi therefore 2 pi lower limit is 0 0 and anything 0 plus see here sin 2 pi 0 then sin 0 0 instead of t if you put 2 pi we can get sin 4 pi sin 4 pi is 0 then if you apply the lower limit t equal to 0 sin 0 0 so there is no meaning for this uh, integral result second term is vanished this is equal to pi into a square so the integral of f dot dr or a given contour is equal to pi a square suppose the value of uh, f is sin y into i plus x into 1 plus cos y into j then for the given circular path the value of f dot dr equal to pi square 